Alright. Before we start round two, uh, I have to make a correction. Uh, Steve uh, answered Adderall Annie for uh, Annie Edison's uh, early name. And it turns out that she was actually referred to as uh, Annie Adderall, as well as Adderall Annie, in a couple of episodes. So we've decided to give him back his point, and he has a perfect score. So fair play to him. Let's see if we can trip him up in this round. It's round two. You each have second seven questions to choose from in this round, increasing in difficulty from one to seven. And those seven dollar questions are going to be really hard. You'll get two questions apiece. You can either answer or push. But if you push and your opponent answers right, they get the money. You don't lose any money in this round, but if you're smart, you'll keep your opponents from making too much money. All right, Brian, you have the lowest score. Let's start with you. Swipe. There you go. Three dollars. You want to keep that or you want to push it at somebody? I will hold on to that. You're going to hold on tight to your three. Your performance. <laughs> All right. Brian, for three dollars, what female R&B singer's 1967 color of, cover of Eleanor Rigby charted almost as high as the Beatles version? I believe that was Aretha Franklin. That would be Aretha Franklin. That is correct. Good idea. Three dollars to you. All right. Steve, it's your turn. Swipe. Two dollars. Two dollars. Do I keep it or pass it? Two dollars. I, 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 I think I'll push it over to Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer gets a two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. For the Cold War, for two dollars, here's your question. How many weeks elapsed between U.S. discovery of missile bases in Cuba and the agreement with the Soviets to dismantle the missiles? How many weeks? Weeks, plural. Five seconds. Two weeks. Two weeks is correct. Nice work. Two dollars. Oh my God, we're tied. Double salt bucks all around. All right, Jennifer, it's your turn to swipe. I shall swipe. Five dollars. A slightly harder question. You want to keep it or push it? I keep it. Don't push it. I think I'm going to keep it. You're going to keep it. Nice work. Five bucks. Let's see. Let's see what you actually know. On July 1st, 1991, what president of an Eastern Bloc country formally announced the disestablishment of the Warsaw Pact? Who got to make that announcement? Who was still alive to make that announcement? <laughs> we need an answer. Mom, what you say? It was Václav Havel. <laughs> Brian, it's your turn. All right. Swipe again. Seven dollars. The hardest question on the board. You want to keep it or you want to shove it? I'm going to hold it on to this and you can try it myself. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you're great. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Brian. Seven dollars. On the 1998 George Martin album In My Life, what Oscar-winning actor provides spoken word vocals for the title track? <laughs> you do have to answer this one. It's not now. It was Sean Connery. You believe correctly. It's Sean Connery. Seven dollars. When you meet Sean Connery, tell him he, he, he made you seven bucks. All right, Steve, it's your turn. Swipe. Come on, big money. One dollar. It's not big money. Uh, it's, hey, that's a lot of pennies. So for a lot of pennies, here is your question. What writer producer created the community? That is Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon is right for a dollar. There you go. All right. Uh, Jennifer, how much money are you giving? How much? What? Yeah, swipe the other way. There you go. One more time. Six dollars. That now has to go to Steve. All right. All right. So, Steve, six dollars. Community, here we go. Give the first and last names of Jeff's colleague at Hamish, Hamish and Hamlet, who exposed, exposed his fake credentials to the bar. That is really tough. Uh, his first name is Alan. Um, I'm going with Alan Harvey, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Alan Harvey is not right, it's Alan Connor. Connor. Uh, <laughs> and that gets us to the end of the second round. Brian has a big lead because he answered a lot of big questions. And uh, let's see what happens in round three. Click here.